I'm right here. Yeah, what's up, Nurse Josh? How are you? I'm good. All right, so Nurse Josh, what of NCLEX Hygiene did you use? So uh, it took me four attempts to pass. Okay. Um, my for two, my second and third attempt, I used your uh, free zooms, and then okay. you know after after the third attempt, I uh, got a the full course with the on demand videos, and after you know I finished the course, I watched all the videos three four times, and then I. Uh, passed with the uh, next gen NCLEX and uh, yeah the course really made the difference for me yeah absolutely I mean like I mean and you'll see this kind of as a common theme and I'm talking to the people that are not crossed over to the other side yet Nurse Josh but for those of you that are in the journey of passing if you notice Nurse Megan Nurse Ebony Nurse Josh they all said that they've watched the content multiple multiple times this is not an easy exam it's not an easy subject so Nurse Josh um, what is your advice for people on the other side? Yeah, my advice is, you know, uh, keep keep up with content, keep doing questions. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much what QBank you use. I switched with Archer and UWorld. It didn't make too much of a difference, but it was the uh, NCLEX high yield videos that I watched them all over and over. I'm a big music guy, but I kind of stopped listening to music. I was just listening to your podcast in the car over and over again and just, you know, kept going through it on my way to work, on my way to my friends, just whatever it was just kept listening to him. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny because I come from a music background, a big time music background. And uh, for me, music is something that I, I can't be without. But when I was studying for boards, I was the same way. I was listening and listening and listening to podcasts and lectures and things, whatever I can get my, whatever my program provided me at that time. So that's amazing. So what are your plans right now, Nurse Josh? What do you got planned? Yeah, what, um, so I'm actually at my last day of my old job right now. Um, I'm going to be applying to a couple of hospitals nearby. I have uh, friends I graduated with who are already working there. So I'm hoping to be able to join them and uh, work as a floor nurse. Nice. Two questions for you, Nurse Josh. Uh, so this time with the next gen, it was 125. Um, I had six case studies, so it was really wow. heavy on that. I had six of them. And the last one was a really difficult cardio one. So when I finished that one up, I felt like I was in good shape because I'm like, it wasn't AFib. It wasn't, you know, CHF. I'm like, okay, I think I'm in a good spot here. Right. Um, what's it called? Definitely. Um, well, cardio, you know how big we go in on cardio. Um, yeah, but, you know, as we're going to learn today, case studies are just an elaborated version of um, the five types of questions, right? So, and we teach you all the test taking strategies. But with that said, Nurse Josh, congratulations for getting over to the other side. And, thank you. Thank you um, for thank all you for your help. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Yep, thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs>